All right, guys. So happy Thrifty Thursday. It has been a while since I have posted a Thrifty Thursday video. And I have a lot of stuff that I've gotten. So I'm just going to kind of break it up and show you some of the stuff today and go from there. This is hosted by Cherie over at Turquoise Dreaming. I'll have her information in the description box down below. So be sure to check that out. And I'm going to go ahead and get started because there's a lot of stuff and I just want to get through it. So, <laughs> so right away, here we go. I went to my missions for Bibles um, or Bibles for Missions. I, I don't know if it's just a Midwest thing or whatnot, but um, it's just a little local thrift store that I go to and they have all kinds of stuff, not just Bibles. Obviously, it's a thrift store and they have furniture and clothes. But this time around, I went specifically looking for some Bible commentaries, some dictionaries and stuff like that. So I was able to get this one. This is a really, a really big one. Um, it's the commentary on the Bible and it was $5. Usually the hardcover books are only like two or three bucks, but this one, because it was a special one, the tag, I took it off already, but it was $5. So I got that one because I am going to be doing, starting a new Bible study. So I want to get as much info as I can and get as much, you know, resources and stuff like that. And I've always wanted a really big Bible. This is like a binder size, eight and a half by 11 sheets. I really wish they had the Old Testament as well, but I love how this one has all the space around it. It's big and it can fit into a binder. I'm going to look online and see if I can find the Old Testament as well, but this is pretty old. So I'll probably just take the covers off and just put it into a binder like that and then you know get little tabs and separate all the chapters that way that I can include you know paper in between and take notes and what have you so I'm really loving this one like I said I hope I can find the Old Testament as well that one was only two dollars then you get a free Bible every time you go in I like having different translations and I don't have a new century version now I don't know exactly what the difference is I haven't really gone through this one yet but I just I grabbed one that I didn't have before so now I have a new century one and it's just a regular you know small bible and then I got this uh bible dictionary it's the strong's and you know it's a pretty decent size one in really good condition so grab that one and this one it was either two or three dollars I can't remember hard covers I think are like two bucks so I got that one and then if you don't know or you may have some in your area or not but there's like these little free libraries that they have all over the place in my city um, and I've seen them in other places too. I actually grabbed quite a few books for some journals that I'm going to be working on, some junk journals. So they did have quite a few of these golden books in there, but I only grabbed a couple. There are some more in here, but just starting off with these, just kind of showing you the books, some of them that I got. I thought this one was really kind of cool. It has all the names of God and they're like coloring pages, but I really liked that one. And then there is, I have a store called Second and Charles, and um, it's a bookstore, and I got quite a few books from there to start doing some, you know, again, some more reference books. This whole set was only $2.75 for the whole set there. And I'm looking for this whole series. These are the, this is the only one that I found there. And I found another one at another store or, oh, at the Goodwill. And it was at the Goodwill outlet. And I don't have it in here, but I'm looking for the whole living room series. And like I said, I did find another one at the Goodwill outlet, but I don't have that stuff here. Oh, yes, I do. I lied. Here's the other one. Then I found this one at the Goodwill outlet. So... Like I said, I'm hoping to find the whole living room series, and this one's a study on 2 Corinthians, and this one is Confronting Our Modern Day Idols, and 
Okay, so I'm looking for that. And I got this at the Goodwill outlet as well. It was just in, you know, one of the bins. Nice, thick, sturdy mead composition notebook there. I also found this uh, Mindfulness Journal 52-Week Planner. It's an old one. It's from 2021. But I still thought some of the stuff was in there that was in here was pretty cool. So you can obviously just change, you know, the dates or whatnot. So I got that from there. Another thing I got at the outlet was this. Now, see, they get stuff from the regular Goodwill, and, like, I guess if it doesn't sell there, they take it to the Goodwill outlet, and everything there is by weight. Um, I've explained this before, but, yeah, so I got this one, so it wasn't $3.99. I think I paid 12 bucks for everything that I got there, and these are just stencil brushes, but these are good, you know, to do other things with, too. So, brand new pack, so I got that. And I also got these cool little um, girls' night out playing cards. So I just thought these would be cool to put into some journals. And I think, oh no, and I got this whole set there as well. Just a second. And it was just like a, I don't know, like a planner sticker set, planner dividers too. Just had all kinds of, uh oh, I'm not do that bunch of stickers and like little planner pieces and what have you so I just grabbed it because I thought it was kind of cool there's a few sheets in there I don't know exactly what all is in the packages but I thought that was a good deal you know like I said everything that I bought that day was like 12 bucks so I think these are just sheets so yeah so I got that it's I suppose I guess a memory keeper um, but yeah so I got that in there I got this cool little um minions sticker book and this stamp set again this was from the goodwill outlet and it's just like on um, i'm sorry for the glare there but it's uh stencils back there and it has some clear stamps and it says moments to remember just stuff like that and it has this cool little um tab thingy so you can stamp it and probably just cut it out it's a pretty big one too so um, where is this from? I don't know where it's from. I can't... Maybe this is Hobby Lobby. I don't know. But it was on clearance. But again, I got it for pennies on the dollar there. Oh, and this is another piece from that set of um, memory keeping stuff. So I grabbed that. And then they just usually have like random stuff sitting, <laughs> sitting around. So I grabbed this cool I think it's like wrapping paper or something like that but it was I thought it was cute with all the little gnomes it's just one piece kind of folded up but I thought it was cool so I just threw it in my in my bag and brought that home with me and this little card because like I said I'm doing some journals and I'm doing a Sesame Street not necessarily just Sesame Street but things from you know when I was growing up and I just thought that was cute so I grabbed that one and I really loved this card has the nativity scene on it and I thought this would be good for a Christmas journal so I grabbed that one and a couple more books that I found some Disney books I'm gonna be doing a Disney themed junk journal so I'll be using the pages I know people have a problem some people have a problem with like cutting up books I don't I figure once they're mine I can do with them as I please and I've already read them to my kids and so these are going to be great to add into some journals so I got that and I think that was everything from the thrift store and then I got a few things from the Dollar Tree I got these new planner stickers the setup is not you know new but these pictures and like the little um sayings and stuff are all new this is like holidays and whatnot and I have pretty much all of the other ones this was a new one and they have like three other ones that were new but this is the only one that I wanted because I do have a ton of them so I just wanted this one because it had all the different holidays on there and they're, I like how small they are so they don't take up much room in my planner so I grabbed those 
and I just grabbed some tape from the Dollar Tree and then I grabbed some glue because I used to get their uh, beacon poster board glue but I have not seen it in a while and I just wanted to have some more glue because I'm going to be working on some journals. So I said, you know what, let me try this one. Why not? And it works really well. It works really well. So if you see this at your Dollar Tree, it is a four ounce bottle for $1.25. I don't think it's, that's a great deal. So I got two of these. Just grab some tape, even though this isn't the tape that I wanted, but it's the only one that my store had. And then I went to a different store. And they had the one that I wanted, but I didn't grab it <laughs> because I already had this. So I'm going to use that up and then go from there. I also got this Crayola washable glue stick. This works really well also. So, you know, if you're looking for alternatives to the really expensive glue, I usually use Scotch Create glue sticks and I love those. But they're kind of expensive and they're a lot harder to find than they used to be. So I'm just looking for, you know, other stuff that I can use. I do have some Elmer's glue sticks that I bought at um, Target. I have them right here, actually. I got them on clearance for $3.24 for the big 12-pack. So I don't think that's too bad. I'm sure during, like, Amazon days and stuff, you probably could have found it for cheaper. But I just grabbed that one because it was on clearance. I got this puzzle glue, big puzzle saver glue from the Dollar Tree because it works really well. Also, I use it on my master boards and it works great. Now I'm just looking. I don't know if that's an expiration date. Hmm. I'm going to have to look at it and see. It says 5-2021. So I don't know if that's the day it was manufactured or does it have an expiration date? I don't know. So anyway, so I grabbed that and then I found a bunch of cool new pens. And I found some from a brand. I'm trying to get up from the bottom here. I've never seen this brand at any of my Dollar Trees. And they had a bunch of pens. So I did grab quite a few of them. I grabbed that one, which is... Ah, right, get it here. Which is this one. And it writes pretty good. It's okay. It's a 0.7 but it's gel and I'm not a big fan of gel pens because I write too hard and they skip when I write. So I don't really, I'm not a big fan of them, but it does write well if you like gel pens. So I grabbed one of those just to try it out. And then I grabbed um, this micro tip uh, brush pen. They had the black one, they had a blue one, then they had a couple of like silver glittery ones, metallic. And I got this purple one. They had silver and a couple other colors. I didn't grab those. They also had this cute little ballpoint pen, which I like. But I think it's like a 0.5. It might be a 0.7. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't really, don't really like it that much. It writes well. I just don't like how thin the barrel is it's really hard for me to grip these thinner pens um for some well I know why but yeah it's harder for me to grip these I like bigger pens they're easier for me to write with but that one's okay and then I got another one of these this is a new one um I've never I've gotten the zebra pens from there but this is a new one I haven't used before it's, I like the size of it. This little ripple piece right here hurts my knuckle. So I don't know. Like I said, I write really, really hard. So I thought because it was like a cushion grip, it was going to feel good. But this kind of digs into my skin. So I don't know. It writes well. It's a one, uh, the one millimeter, which I really like. I like those bold, thick pens. But I don't like that. So I don't know if it doesn't bother you if you don't write hard, that'll be good. But they did have a whole bunch of like these gen gen uh, can't even talk journal journaling ink pens and like notebooks and stuff. But that's all I grabbed. And then the last thing that I have to show you, I actually got on Amazon, and it'll be linked in my description box down below. I got these Bible um, tabs. They have all the books of the Bible, obviously. And you actually get three sets. I've already used one of them. 
and I don't know if I have my Bible with me, but I've used one of them and this is what they look like. Um, the lettering is pretty big there and the colors are all just kind of, you have three sets. So you have this lighter like pastel color, then you got these brighter floral prints. And then these are all kind of different shapes and sizes and all different prints. You get all three sets, and I think I paid like $7 for all three of them. It came in one pack, and it's a Mr. Pen brand. I've used Mr. Pen stuff before, so definitely, um, you know, a good brand. But I thought that was a really good deal for, like I said, I think it was like $6.99 or $7.99 for three sets of tabs. So definitely um, check out my Amazon storefront. I have those linked in there. In case, you know, you're looking for some new Bible tabs. Let me see if I have my Bible here that I used it in. I think I do. Yeah. So this is probably one of my favorite Bibles. And this is the one that I'm using it in. Because I just like to be able to, I mean, I know where all the books are. But it's just easier to kind of flip to, you know, flip to it when, you, when you're looking for it. So yeah, so I got those. And I mean, they're not, oh, I guess I should turn it around here. They're nice. They're a nice size. So, you know, easy to read and um, easy to put on there. And they stick pretty well. I mean, I haven't had any problems. None of them have fallen out. They stick really well. They're easy to use, easy to put on there. And yeah, so I grabbed that and I still have the two sets, which I have another Bible that I want to use this big, this uh, like different shaped one. I don't really like this floral one, so I may be doing a giveaway once I hit 500 and 500 subscribers, and I might include this um, set of tabs in that giveaway. So yeah, let's get to 500 so I can include that in my giveaway. And that is it for today, guys. I have a lot more stuff to show. My first time doing a video like a Thrifty Thursday probably in like two or three months. So I've missed doing them. I like showing you guys what I found. Sorry, I'm a little rusty <laughs> in my recordings and what have you. So I do apologize. I was trying to, I guess, kind of rush through it. So I do apologize for that. But um, yeah, that is it for today. I'm hoping to have another Thrifty Thursday video for you next week. And hoping to be a lot more consistent on my channel with my other videos, doing a Bible study, and just showing you guys, you know, all the stuff that I found. So that is it for today. Be sure to check out Cherie's channel. And there's a list on her channel of everybody who's participating in Thrifty Thursday in case you want to see what other people have found, maybe what they're doing with their stuff. That is it. Until next time, you guys, be blessed and be the reason someone smiles. Bye.